Uh, it's been a minute since I told an embarrassing story. Uh, I guess I was gonna have to get to this one eventually. Oh, man. So, I used to be really good friends, best friends even, with this dude named Marcus. You guys may know him from way, way, way back in like some of the very first videos that we've ever done for this channel. Um, he used to go by the name Mr. Fizzy on this channel. Great guy back in the day. He was like a brother to me. And we would hang out every single day, if not every single other day. And we would do sleepovers as often as possible because, no joke, he would live directly across the street from me. And, you know, it was great. It was genuinely great. It was amazing. It was wonderful. It was amazing. We always had so much fun. I know I said amazing twice, but you get my point. It was double the amazing. <laughs> Gotta remember that one. But, um, yeah, so basically what ended up happening was is that I went over to his house, and what ended up happening was is that I brought over my PS3. And we started playing PS3. Having a great time, having, you know, just the utmost of fun for, with the PS3, right? Well, what ends up happening is, you know, his mom basically says, Hey, you know, do you mind coming outside to the den so we can watch TV together? You know, just as a group, you know, we're thinking about putting on a movie. We're like, all right, bet. So the way that this worked, right, was let's say down there, right? So if you, let me get the pointing right. If you look down there, beep, there's a room, right? That's where Marcus's room would be, right? Down this hall, you know, would be just the regular hallway. Right here would be the restroom. Come out here, den, right? Just want to give you a brief idea of how it works, right? Uh, the hallway is a little bit longer than that after the bathroom, but it doesn't really matter. And just so you know, the bathroom door, like, was like right here. So you could actually look into the den from the bathroom and vice versa. Just, just to give an idea, right? So basically what ended up happening was is that I had to go use the restroom, right? And I'm just thinking it's going to be a casual number one. You know, I thought it was just going to be a liquid stream. You know, I thought it was going to be great, right? Well, it didn't turn out like that. Instead, um, well, I had to go for the other stuff. And I go in there and I'm like, all right, you know, because me personally, I always get super self-conscious about using the restroom, even if it's just a piss at someone else's house, even though these people were like family to me. I felt weird about doing that, but I had to. So I'm just here like, all right, this is going to be quick. We're going to make this fast. They're going to just think it's like a longer piss. We'll get this done. That was not how it went. And so what ended up happening was I'm there and I'm struggling. Like, this is the worst time ever for you to not be able to, uh, Fulfill your business, you know. God, this is such a shitty story to talk about, my God. <laughs> but either way, so basically what ended up happening was I'm trying, I'm struggling here, and I'm like feeling the pain in my stomach. And it's to the point of where, like, you know, you, you know those really bad times where, like, you just feel like your, your whole world is spinning. You're like, golly, I'm swimming up a storm. I gotta take off my shirt. You know, I gotta, I gotta be here, place my hands on the walls, just... I just pray to Jesus, and then you gotta bend forward so your stomach is crushed, and you just gotta do all this at the same time, and just pray to God, and pray to Jesus, and be like, God help me! Yeah, that's what was going on right there. So I'm fucking struggling, my Jesus. Like, I am struggling, and like, I, I'm like praying, I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know why I'm doing so many grunts, but I am, and I'm just struggling, I'm going full hair, and this is like peak constipation. Like, you, I'm over here massaging my belly. I'm over here praying to God that I'm gonna survive. I'm thinking, I'm gonna die. This is how I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in the fucking shitter. Like, I'm fucking dying. It is dreadful. And I'm definitely suffering. Like, this is awful. And eventually, like, I'm just like, hoo, hoo, hoo. like, I'm breathing like that. I'm breathing like that. Like, this is, this is peak Death, this is peak struggle right here, okay? So I'm like struggling for dear life here. And like, I'm like, all right, we're getting somewhere. And I'm massaging the stomach at the same time. This just sounds like a weird porno when you say it like this. It's just horrible. But honestly, I'm just suffering. I'm just struggling here. And, um, you know, eventually what ends up happening is, uh, just comes out. Kudos to me. We got it done. We got it done, boys and girls. We succeeded in our task. We got it done! But this is not where the story ends. No. No, it does not. I come to find out, after checking my phone, that I had been in there struggling to uh, take a shit for a solid 25 
minutes. Yeah, it, it was bad. And the entire time, I'm struggling, making noises or whatever. And that's when I noticed really quick that because I was such in a hurry to use the restroom, I didn't turn on the ceiling fan, like the ceiling uh, vent fan for the bathroom. All I turned on was the light. Fuck. So I come outside of the bathroom so embarrassed already, and literally everyone is just on the couch, and they're all like, like all staring at me because they heard every single bit of it. Fuck me, man. So they're all like, Dude, what the fuck, man? And they're like, what? Are you okay? Like, I was about to go knock it on the door. Like, you sounded like you were struggling. The mom's like, gee, like, I heard everything. It was horrible. Like, I even heard you talking in there. Like, they were just peak making fun of me at this point. And let me tell you, they did not let it go. They were making fun of me very heavy. They were like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm glad you were able to take a shit. They made fun of me for a solid, like, couple hours. Just like, with a bunch of shit jokes and stuff and saying like, Hey, before I go use the restroom, does uh, Matt need to go use the restroom right now? And shit like that. They made fun of me so bad and I was so embarrassed that after that, I never used the restroom at their house again. So much so that if I ever had to use the restroom, one, I'd go home. Or two, I'd pray to God that it would just go away. I wouldn't even pee at their house. I just was so embarrassed after that that I never used the restroom again. They started making fun of me for that, and it was just, it, it was bad, because they heard everything. They even reiterated some of the fucking grunts and shit. They're like, oh yeah, you were in there sound like, oh, like they fucking did shit like that to me. And even when I was going to go to bed, they were like, hey, ma. Good night. Hope you sleep well. Hope your stomach feels better. They were being petty like that. It was it was quite embarrassing. And they did not let it go after that. They made fun of me a lot that day. And every now and then that joke would be brought up again. Let me tell you, I uh, never used the restroom at their house again, that's for sure. But anyway, so with that guys, I'm just one of your clothes. As wonderful it can be, no matter how shitty of a story it is. Anyway, <laughs> god damn. With that guys, I'm just one of your clothes. Kill the thumbs on and I'm off for now. Peace.